Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. This is Africa, and here's Gabon. Now let's see what happened once Gabon a time, shall we? Gabon's early days resemble that of its neighbors, in that it was initially populated by pygmy people, before being taken over by migrations of persons speaking the Bantu languages, who form the ethnic majority of the region to this day. In Gabon, these tribes became the Fang and the Kota, and many more, patriarchal polygamous societies of ancestor worshippers. The first Europeans to cite Gabon were the Portuguese in 1472, and they began trading with the people of Gabon as did other Europeans in the following century. Around 1700, a coastal kingdom arose called Orungu, which grew rich off exporting many commodities, including slaves. And in 1722, the famous Welsh pirate Black Bart was killed in action in the waters of Gabon, shot through the neck and buried at sea. The kingdom declined in the latter 19th century as slavery diminished, and the colonial French were increasingly making their presence known. One explorer even founding a city in Gabon called Franceville. Not very imaginative, but the message was clear enough. In 18 in 1885, France claimed Gabon, making its control official in the early 20th century. And as you can see, the people of Gabon were very thrilled. France would rule until 1960, when Gabon gained independence. Léon Mba became the first president, and he quickly became a dictator, and would personally whip anyone in the street who didn't salute him. He was followed by Omar Bongo, who ruled from 1967 until his death in 2009. He let France suck up Gabon's oil in exchange for making sure he remained in power. And while he allowed some of the massive flow of money to go to building up the country, and thus placating the populace, he let a lot more of the riches stay in his own hands so he could buy fancy cars and giant mansions. He was followed by his son Ali, who in 2019 withstood an attempted coup. Today, Gabon has a high level of human development, but a considerable unevenness of wealth distribution, with a lot of the population struggling in poverty. What awaits Gabon in the years ahead? Comment below, but for now, bye bye <laughs>